Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be learning about isotopes and their uses. Now it is known that the atomic number of an element represents the total number of protons present inside the nucleus of an atom and the mass number represents the total number of nucleons that is the number of protons added up to the total number of neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. Now it is also known that all the atoms of a particular element have the same atomic number. But for some elements it is possible that all the atoms of that particular element may not have the same mass number even if they have the same atomic number. It is like saying that when I pick up an oxygen atom and I go for comparing it with other oxygen atoms I may find their mass numbers to be different from each other even if all of them represent the same oxygen atom. Actually in nature there are two varieties of oxygen atom that is one is of oxygen 16 and the second one is oxygen 18. Now oxygen 16 has 8 protons and 8 neutrons whereas oxygen 18 has 8 protons and 10 neutrons. Now we see here that two atoms of oxygen that is oxygen 16 and oxygen 18 have different number of neutrons. Oxygen 18 is, seems to have two neutrons extra as compared to oxygen 16. So the mass number of oxygen 16 is 16 uh, which is the sum of 8 protons and 8 neutrons and for oxygen 18 the mass number is 18 because the number of protons is 8 and number of neutrons is 10 which add up to give it a mass number of 18. So we see here that it is the number of neutrons which make the difference in the mass numbers of these two oxygen atoms. So such atoms of the same element with different mass numbers are termed as something called isotopes. So we define isotopes as the atoms of the same element with same atomic number but different mass number. Now let us look at some such examples. Isotopes of hydrogen. Hydrogen is seen to have three isotopes. That is the first one is protium, second one is deuterium and the third one is tritium. Now protium has one proton, one electron but it has no neutrons at all. So we see that the number of protons is one. So its atomic number becomes one. Now the number of neutrons is zero and the number of protons is 1 which add up to give it a mass number of 1. Similarly for deuterium uh, which has 1 proton, 1 electron and 1 neutron, its atomic number is again seem to be 1 but the mass number is 1 plus 1 which is 2. Similarly for tritium the number of protons is 1, number of electrons is also 1 but it has two neutrons. So its mass number becomes 1 plus 2 that is 3. Now if we notice in all these three cases that the number of protons and electrons are exactly the same for protium, deuterium and tritium. But it is the mass number which is different in all these three cases. And the origin for this difference in the mass number is from now the number of neutrons in all these three cases. We see that the number of neutrons in protium is 0 whereas it is 1 and 2 for deuterium and tritium. So we can conclude that it is the number of neutron which makes their mass numbers to be different from each other. Now let us look at the isotopes of carbon. Carbon also seems to have three varieties that is carbon 12, carbon 13 and carbon 14. Now for carbon 12 there are 6 protons, 6 electrons and 6 neutrons. So we see here that the number of protons is 6 so its atomic number is 6 and the mass number becomes 6 plus 6 which is 12. Similarly for carbon 13 the number of protons is 6. It has 6 electrons but it has 7 neutrons which means that its mass number becomes 6 plus 7 
which is 13. Similarly, for case of carbon 14, there are 6 protons, 6 electrons, but it has also got a different number of neutrons, which is 8. So, its mass number becomes 6 plus 8, which is 14. Now, again in this case, we see that there is a difference in the number of neutrons in all these three cases. That is, carbon 12 has 6 neutrons, whereas carbon 13 and 14 have 7 and 8 neutrons respectively. So, we see that it is the number of neutrons which makes the difference in these three types of carbon atoms. Now, from all these three examples, we notice a few things. That is, the isotopes of a particular element have exactly the same number of electrons. Now, it is known that it is electrons which take part actively in a chemical reaction and the neutrons and protons which are well packed inside the nucleus hardly make any chemical effect. Now, this would mean that as the isotopes of a particular element have equal number of electrons, their chemical properties would be identical. It is like saying that in the reaction where two hydrogen molecules combine with an oxygen molecule to give out two molecules of water, we can take any of the isotopes of hydrogen and also we can take any of the isotopes of oxygen and we will get the same result that is water molecules. It will never yield us any other result. Now we notice again that all the isotopes of a particular element have unequal number of neutrons which would essentially mean that they have unequal masses. Now this leads to a difference in their physical properties which include boiling point, melting point and the physical states of the isotopes. Now these isotopes have got a lot of applications in our daily life. So let us look at some of those uses. Now an isotope of uranium that is uranium 235 is used as a fuel for nuclear reactors. An isotope of cobalt that is cobalt 60 is used for the treatment of cancer and also for food preservation. An isotope of iodine that is iodine 131 is used for the treatment of goiter which is a kind of disease which occurs due to deficiency of iodine in a body. Now an isotope of carbon that is carbon 14 is used for dating plants, animals and human beings after excavation. Now dating is a process which lets us know about the exact age of a particular body. Now an isotope of sodium that is sodium 24 is used to detect tumors as well as it is used to detect any leakage in the underground pipes. So this was all about isotopes and their uses. So in this video, we have learned that isotopes are the atoms of the same element with same atomic number but different mass number. The isotopes of a particular element have same chemical properties but they have different physical properties. And also we have looked at some uses of these isotopes. So I hope you had fun learning this lesson. Thank you.